Hey, it's the 12th of the 6th of the 11th. That would make it June the 12th, 2011. Not on Grafton Street watching buskers, but in the bay window of my home in Cashel Tipperary, Ireland. Look at some newspapers with an American twist. For you guys who follow me on audioboo.fm stroke top code or www.insideview.ie, you know I'm an American living in Ireland and I love things like authentic Irish art. All the world's a stage and the Street Performance World Championships proves some performers are more than mere players, says Lisa Brady in Agenda Magazine, The Inside Story. For Americans who are thinking about this thing, and we seem to get one every three weeks, a contingent every three weeks, would never miss walking down Grafton Street on a warm day or down Shop Street in Galway or through the parade in Cork. Lots of interesting, exciting activity there. And if you're buying magazines this weekend, can't go wrong with the Financial Times, the Sunday Times or Sunday Business Post. Those are magazines and some stories that I'll look at, my quick 10-minute view of the news. Now, you know, 50 years from now, when, a new, uh, when our newest arrival looks back over some of the artifacts, I'm wondering, will he look at being wired, totally wired, the article, the cover story from Silicon Valley is called Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And I'm using stuff I know in my own practice, in my own life. Taking a look at um, wiring up parts of my self to find out better ways of exercise or total number of miles or weight. It's a really outstanding article in the FT.com magazine. Uh, it's just really good. Talking about data collected by sensors that you can strap on or press onto your body and, and um, learn more about your efficiency or your weight loss techniques. Great article, well recommended. In fact, Pat Phelan recommends it. Called Invasion of the Body Snatcher, written by Abel Dombowski. Good stuff. Photographs by Jamie Kingham. And I'm wondering, you know, to the unborn right now, that's <laughs> to say to my unborn son, you know, are you going to be wired up like that 50 years from now? Probably very, uh, it might actually be an embedded chipset. Culture Magazine, inside the Sunday Times, points out something we're missing this year. That's the Venice Biennale. Walmart, uh, Genesis, write the article. And um, he basically says, look, there's no such thing as a bad Venice Biennale. Too many delicious ingredients go into the annual, the bi biennial creation. And he gives a quick review. Wish we were there. You can go to my Flickr photo stream, photos stroke photos stroke uh, flickr.com stroke photos stroke irish eyes and look up venice you see where we were before ft weekend warns about where we might be going in ireland and that would be towards the teenage prom prom fever is sweeping schools in the uk claire bart were and warns what it's going to cost a parent and when the irish economy recovers you can bet that the glee fever will take over from the from the debs and make it a full-on prom experience it's going to cost Cloud threatens to end the PC's reign. Richard Waters, Chris Nuttall in uh, San Francisco give the report. Really cool story about the ecosystem shifting. FT.com stroke T Steve Jobs takes a look at him and uh, inside the FT.com stroke computing, a look down memory lane in the way of computing. But inside Sunday Times, more information about the same technology stories. You have to wait for that Sunday Times technology piece a little bit later on. Because on the front page. Stephen O'Brien, political correspondent, says the last $5 billion for the National Pension Re Reserve Fund is being raided to create jobs. Don't know about the specifics of that. I know the Troika has to give permission. Ireland's bankrupt, so other people are running it. Not Brian Linehan. Unfortunately, he died last week, uh, Friday. Mia was looking at the photographs that are throughout all the papers on Sunday today and says, Daddy, he's got green teeth. I don't know what happened to the um, color registration of that page, but tributes to a patriot to the last. Every Sunday paper covers the story. Excellent. The man deserved special, special treatment. Brian Lenehan, rest in peace. There's a move to arrest the website hackers, says Mark Tai and John Mooney. Dara Doya. Hello, Dara. Dara, the communications manager at Boardside, he said that uh, Boardside is dealing with the consequences of the hack, which forced the, the Ireland's largest discussion boards to go offline for several days. 290,000 passwords are compromised. More compromise here. 
That's no current. He's got no choice, says Mark Paul, but to make savage cuts across a whole range of different items in radio, television, and current affairs. You can see some of the programming going down, well, being cut back. The Irish broadcaster. Here's an interesting story. I'll hashtag it Ed Chat, i.e., because John Burns takes up a look at that uh, about books. Uh, Rory Quinn, who's the Minister for, fin uh, for Education, says that finally we're going to get involved in the debate over expensive school books. And they outline the backstory of Rory Quinn, the Irish system. And then, hey, technology could make the argument redundant. I don't know. St. Coleman's College in Mayo is having uh, iPads in their curriculum. There's a whole backstory to that. I'm not sure that this comment section of the Sunday Times actually deals with the real issues. They're succinct or snappy summaries, but uh, there's, there's a whole issue there that, that totally goes under, unexplored. Hashtag Ed Chat, i.e., would explain more if you went to that on Twitter. You'd find out where I'm headed. Headed inside the Sunday Business Post. Brian Lennon's on the front page again. And uh, also on the front page is cuts of pay to top public servants and inside the paper. They they give some details about what that might mean. 100 days of power. Two men, the Tanisha and the Taoiseach, walking in uh, next to each other, stumbling to success. Good stuff, though. I mean, uh, Edna Kennedy's had a good run so far. Um, we'll see where it goes. We're still, uh, we're still bankrupt, and that's not going to change. But look, what is changing here are these QR codes. They're appearing throughout Sunday Business Post. They don't work on my uh, my iTouch, and they don't work on my uh, Nokia E7. Got to sort of sort that out and figure out why. QR codes are everywhere, and uh, while well, they're appearing everywhere, they work really good in the absolute hotel and the menu, but they're just not working well in the Sunday business. Place. Not sure why. Punishing the wealth cor creators, Ross McGuire says that lawyers are need to be involved in a constitutional challenge to bankruptcy laws. You know, basically, when you need the wealth creators, when you need people to invest their money, you don't need to have the stress of personal bankruptcy, you know, on top of their head. Now, here's this public pay thing that I think bears, uh, bears interest. The sound you hear is one of the uh, co-presenters getting in position. I'm not sure what she's going to point out. But basically, the things I've highlighted here are, are agencies I work with, and it has the pay of the heads of the different boards. And the point of the matter is this. Th those pays are, that pay, those pay packages are about 30% above the managers are right below them and then they're 15 20 percent to the next level and from the bottom up you know if you have someone who's working and they're, they're getting 50,000 euro their boss is probably going to get about 80,000 euro a year and then the, the man the main person on top of that's going to be getting another 30 percent that's where all these things come from but for every one of these numbers you also you could also add uh, the uh, expense packets there's adrian weckler he writes his column called reality bites gets it on totally gets it totally on about uh, apple Pulling off an amazing coup, he says. Look, if you have Pirate Bay stuff, you know, you know, unlicensed tracks, and you let Apple have 25 bucks, they'll so basically put into the cloud something you can use forever, which is a real track. Here's the thing: you're going to have to have though some way to play it back in the house. If you're not going to do earbuds, you need something. Now, this is from the Sunday Times, and what they do is they go through a thing called, uh, well, file players. Give your files a hi-fi treatment. I focus on this one here, best for sound, music fidelity from the M1 Click. It's going to cost me 1,100 euro, most expensive unit on test, but you know, Sonic controls. The Sonics are superb, making any digital source you choose to sound sweet and spacious. Okay, time's coming close to the edge. We'll go with a few other quick stories. First on PopCap, Catherine O'Mahony writes about them. Really good company. They take a personal approach to PR. So says the PR manager, Kathy Orr. Unlikely to choose a pure online marketing solution. Kirshna Day knows how to do that. So that is to say, run both online PR and social media, focus on retail. Catherine Romani also writes that story. Retail sales will be the next big thing for social media. I tend to agree with Krishna because we're helping the local merchants here in Cashel achieve that. Then we're getting through technology, where I'm going to be working in September officially. Gets a franchise leg up. Um, the story here is called Out on Your Own, in the section called Out on Your Own. Sunday Business Post shows Kieran McSweeney of the Limerick Chamber, uh, head of LIT, Dr. Mary Hin Hinflar, and uh, General Sullivan, Minister of State, all happy about the franchise program. FAST is what it's called, 15 applicants, capacity to create up 50 jobs over a three-year period, 
Um, and uh, hey, that could be 150 startups coming on the back of LIG. Here's some more of those flipping codes. Don't seem to work for me. I, I, it might be my problem. Okay, outside where it's blowing. Have a look at the daisies. Yeah, blowing in the front garden. The strawberries are producing five to seven a day, even though the wind's blowing them away. And the tomatoes, you can tell they're going to blow high and well soon. Poor little maples getting blown sideways by the high wind. Well, that's all from here. Mia, do you want to say anything? Yeah. What do you want to say? You want to say goodbye? Come back next week? Come back next week or just see us online. www.insideview.ie. Pretty go back. Cash will come to Ireland in the Bay Window. Saying bye for now.